As the Buddha said, the good that you do follows you like a shadow. You don't have to carry the shadow around. It's weightless. And yet it's there. The bad things you do, he said, are like a cart that you have to draw. It's a weight on you and then it crushes your footprints. As for the things you try to hold on to, you have to carry them. This is the way good karma is your best your best possession. Your other possessions, you have to lug them around. If we had a fire, we'd have to have bags of this and bags of that that we carried with us. But the good karma we've done, that'll go with us wherever we go. So that's where we should invest our time. The Buddha talks a lot about investing your time. He uses monetary images. That was back at a time when a monetary economy was just beginning to get started. And even though we hear about spiritual materialism being a bad thing, still, it's a lot better having spiritual material than just have plain old material. So the good you do in your terms of your generosity, your virtue, your meditation, these things will provide for you. And you don't have to worry about them. When a good deed is done, the results will take care of you. After we built the jetty at Wadama City, some of John Fung's students were sitting around admiring the jetty, how proud they were of having built it. He says, watch out. If you get attached to the material things, you get reborn in a material place like that. It wouldn't, wouldn't be a good place to be reborn. But focus on the qualities of the mind that you develop as you do good. Patience, endurance, determination. All of these things are good habits to have. All these things are good possessions to have to provide for the mind. So think of that as you go through the day. We have a fair amount of work around the monastery. It's, it's very easy for some people to see, well, it's a distraction from the meditation. But it's providing you with a rounded set of possessions. Meditation provides you with one kind of possession. But generosity and virtue provide you with other possessions as well. And you want your possessions to be rounded. And so look at the chores of the monastery, not as chores or as burdens, but as opportunities. And when you think of it that way, there are opportunities for goodness all around us. <laughs>